Hello and welcome to Fun Bikes TV. My name is James and today we're going to change a carburetor on a Mudvox GT80 Trailblazer buggy. Once we remove the chain just a bolt, we just need to undo the bottom bolt down here with a 10 spanner or socket. This will allow us to lift the engine up and remove the carburetor past the rear frame of the buggy. Using two 14s, we'll need to remove the chain adjuster bolt from just here. Hold the engine so it doesn't drop down, lift and pull the bolt out. Now I've removed the bolt from here and the bolt on the side of the uh, drive belt um, cover, we can push the engine downwards, which then allows us to have slack in the chain. And just pop the chain off to the side of the sprocket on one side or the other, and roll the buggy forward and then backwards which allows the chain to jump off the sprocket and push it to the side. We can now lift the buggy up and slide the carburetor off the vehicle. To start changing the carburetor on the vehicle, we're going to undo the air filter at the top. Remove the wing nut, then carefully lift the case off and undo the next wing nut and lift the cover off the top. Always inspect your air filter to make sure it is clean and there is no dirt or damage to it. You should be cleaning these out uh, every 50 hours or 10 hours if you're used in dusty conditions. And just check by carefully removing foam cover in the membranes, all nice and clean on here. Obviously this is a brand new one, but you can clean these out with air lines and bits and pieces on there. And proper air filter cleaner that is uh, available for most uh, motorbike retailers will help to clean it properly as well. Then using a 10 spanner or socket, undo two bolts holding the plastic cover on just here. Turn your fuel off on the side of the buggy. On the carburetor, that needs to be pushed backwards and then you will need to undo the bolt at the top here. And then slide this out of the way. You will see there's a little black pipe that comes across from the overhead valve cover. Just slide that off there and remove the plastic cover. You will then find there is a gasket on here and your throttle cable, sorry, your choke cable. Uh, remove your choke cable from the vehicle, It push it forward and then lift it up out of the notch and place that out of the way for the time being. You can then start to slide the carburetor off. Now you'll find there's a small spring on the top just here that you need to remove carefully. And then there's the actual throttle bar on the vehicle as well, which if you push the throttle fully open, you can pop up out of the way. You will then need a pair of needle nose pliers. Make sure that the fuel is off on the fuel tap. Squeeze the clip together on the fuel pipe and slide it upwards. And then needing, you, carefully using your needle nose pliers at the bottom so you don't damage the fuel pipe, lift the fuel pipe up. I always take the bolt that came out from just here and just place it in the end of the fuel pipe to stop fuel any fuel spilling out of it, like so. The carburetor is now ready to slide off. First remove the gasket. So we can now lift the engine up and slide the carburetor off the vehicle. Okay, we're now ready to fit our new carburetor to the vehicle. To do this, we're just gonna reverse the process that we did before. So start off with sliding the carburetor on then reattaching our uh, chain and bits onto the vehicle before replacing the engine cover bolt and then fitting all the um, throttle, choke lever, etc., to the carburetor. Okay, so we're now going to start that process. We're now ready to fit our carburetor onto the vehicle. Reach underneath the exhaust area and lift the engine up. Make sure that your gasket onto the air intake of the engine is in one piece and situated correctly and then slide your carburetor back onto the vehicle. We're now going to route our fuel pipe first. This is easier to do while the carburetor can still be moved around. Remove the bolt if you popped it in the end to stop the fuel spillage. And then push it down onto the fuel intake and move the clip down towards the bottom of the fuel pipe to make sure that it is in position on there. Push your fuel, the carburetor on fully and then route your choke cable through. As you can see where the choke cable goes in, one side has a small hole in it to allow the nipple and the choke cable to sit into. The other side is totally smooth. The side with the smaller hole in needs to sit point pointing the front of the vehicle. 
push your cable through and then pull it back into position. As you can see, the choke operates with the cable attached on there. Then take the black gasket that you had before and replace it onto the carburetor. Again, check this to condition before replacing. And slide it on like so, making sure you have it the correct way around so the notch out on here lines, out with, lines up with the notch hole in the carburetor and the same on this side down here. So lift your engine up slightly and place the cover in position, making sure that your choke bar mounting bracket sits on top through like so. Then replacing the bolt on the top loosely at first and the two nuts on the side and then fully tighten these up. And tighten the bolt on the top that holds the choke bracket in place. Replace the cover on top of the engine, making sure that the small seal sits inside the center of it. If you have cleaned your air filter, make sure it's fully dry before replacing. Place your air filter back into position using the wing nuts without the black plastic on. Tighten this down. Then place the air filter cover back into position and tighten this down. Now we just need to remove, now we just need to replace the chain tensioner bolt and the um, chain cover bolt on the side and we're ready to use the vehicle again. Okay, so we're now going to pop the chain back on. So reach around to the front of the buggy or the rear, it doesn't matter which way around. I'm going to push the buggy forwards. So pop your chain on the, over the sprocket as far as you can. It's not going to go on quite on go on all the way, as you can see. So it's what we need to do now is just roll the buggy forwards as I put it over the front half of the sprocket until the chain jumps into position. We're now going to lift the engine up and replace the bolt through here using the 214 spanners and sockets. Once that is fully tight, the last thing we need to do is replace the chain guard bolt on the side. So using the 10 spanner or socket, replace the bolt on the bottom of the drive belt cover section. Now fully fitted our new carburetor to the vehicle, replace the chain and everything is tight and ready to go on the vehicle. Before you file the vehicle for the first time, do just make sure you press the throttle pedal in the uh, cockpit of the vehicle to make sure it's coming on and off fully. And then you will need to refer to the how to prime your carburetors video um, for how to set it up for the first use in terms of getting the fuel through to the carburetor. It is a brand new carburetor, so it will take a minute to start it after you've replaced it. Thank you for watching Fun Bikes TV. Let the fun begin.